taking a walk with the dergs. <laughs> this is somewhere in Manville. No railroad tracks that's been abandoned about 50 years or so. So we're gonna take a little walk and show you some show you some stuff. Uh, what's up? Long time no see, Ranger Kooky. Looks like they clear out the, the ditch. Yeah, it looks like they came out here and they, they cleared out the ditch. Cause I I was coming out here a lot. And it had all the debris and shit. That's new. I think there's a ditch runs across right there. So what you been doing, Ranger Kooky? Well, why am I making making videos? Well, I'm making one now because I guess I'm bored as hell. Uh, since the start of the coronavirus, is this like a downhill spiral? I got no no motivation. There's nothing new to do. So I'm going to show you some old homeless camps. And uh, go through some junk. Why would they do that? Wow, jewelry. Ooh, I got jewelry. Ooh, I'm rich. I bought, I bought treasure. It looks like somebody's been coming back here. Yeah, a lot of new stuff here. I made a couple of videos like of this uh, uh, on my Facebook channel a while back, almost around December. And this is what happens when you're on drugs. I, I hate to tell you that this is a drug addict's camp. Oh shit, they probably got some out here. Oop, they do. All right, let's go. Usually homeless people hang out here too. Come on, Derek, let's go. <clears throat> homeless people hang out here. Drug addicts hang out here. <clears throat> I hate to say this, but most homeless people are drug addicts. You know, there are a few that have a hard time in life. And they try to make the best, so they want to be the way they want to be. You want to live in the car, that's fine. That, some people got a, a pension. That's the first time finding somebody in the woods. <clears throat> yeah. So what's going on? Let's see if we can find some old camps. There's another old camp down here. I kind of broke my thoughts here. <laughs> so what you been doing besides walking through the woods and visiting old camps? Well, sometimes they leave stuff and they abandon stuff that they pick up. And I go out here and find it and look through it and get the goodies. It's a horrible thought, but abandonment is abandonment. Somebody abandons their camp, and there's another camp right down there. There's like three on this side, and here's the other one. We're gonna take a look. There was somebody down there, so I had to move away. I don't wanna. Trust me, I. Yep, that's new. Yeah, somebody's been using this camp too area. That's a cool looking shoe. Let's paint it all up. And here's another homeless camp that somebody just, I don't know how they think or how they act. I hate these things. Uh, stop them.
I'll stop this one too. See, that's what I'm talking about. You know, they, they buy stuff, good quantity of stuff, or they donate good stuff, and they're on their dope, and they just leave everything. They all this stuff from the dumpster around the corner from the Goodwill store. And what they do, their mind is just not all there. And they bring it out here and they just pile it up. Oh, I need this. And, and they, and that's what they do. There was like three camps on this side, but we found the lady. We just avoided. Tell you some things about, I try to help homeless people. I found two homeless people out here. It was uh, uh, at least the 50s, a husband and a wife, and I try to help them as best as I can. And I said, use me, but don't abuse me. And it, it, was hard, it was very hard for them to use me, but they started to use me. They didn't realize it, or they did realize it. They was just screwing me around and fuck. I hate to curse, but yeah. And another reason, right now it's so hot, it's it's unbearable to even walk out here. This goes all the way to the interstate. We're not going to the interstate. It gets this trail gets real thick. You can't even walk all the way to it. You got to zigzag through trees, and it's not worth it. So I'm just going to walk to these old camps. Now back to the, the people I found. I tried to help them. It was around December. I knew them for five, at least five months. They started using me. I'll show you another where I brought it. Oh man, it's a, it's, I need to talk about it. I need to put this on Bowling Cookies channel. So yeah, I'm gonna put this on Bowling Cookies channel. So I helped these, these couple, husband and wife. I moved them to a camp to promise me to keep it clean and organized and they just start screwing me around. They left. Then the, the camp got broken into a rod. Look at the dirt. Then they got depressed because their shit got broken into and stolen and and they didn't want to move. I moved 13 bags of trash from their camp, which they promised me that they keep it clean. 13 bags of garbage. I didn't mind helping them. I said, all right, well, I'm help, I'll help y'all. This is your trash. You promised me to keep the camp clean. You promised me that you, you, you won't use me. You know, I, I, was asking, I was looking for something from them. Not much. I meant something from my, my good deeds. Because I was living in my truck. See, they didn't have a job. They didn't want to work. So it's not my fault you didn't want to work. That's how I see it. You can work, well, go work. Get a job, work. No, he didn't want to work. He wanted to use the people. And believe me, they he used the hell out of the people. When he moved from one spot to the other spot, which is not far, it was just like a block. He asked me to move his stuff back. It was, all right, we'll back up. And he asked me to move stuff from one spot to his to the camp I showed him for a small payment. I asked for like a flashlight or something. Then he pro we made an agreement and he's supposed to give me a small flashlight. Never got the flashlight. Then he wanted me to move his stuff again from one spot to another. He didn't want to pay me or give me anything. Then people start giving him stuff from hell. I mean people stopping every minute to give me money, food, uh, items. See, food don't count. I don't count food as an item to give to somebody as a gift or for their, for their service. 
Now, some people can, but... Now, when I ask for a certain item, I just ask for, like, a, a, a sleeping bag. Oh, man, I'll sell it to you. I'll trade it to you. Really? All the stuff I've done for you, and you want me to buy it or trade it with you. Okay. No problem. I don't want it right now. I don't want it. You know, keep it. You know, it started adding up. More and more I did for these people. I just asked for a simple little item that he was gaving. Even though they didn't have much. And a lot of shit was getting stolen from them when they were not at their camp. You know, people sneak in and steal their shit. Uh, people offer motels. They offer them uh, a place. And... They start this this use and use me. I was getting tired of it, so I finally left him after five months. I was going in there and I wasn't there all the time. I was there like every other day. Only on my days off. Because I told him I go camping somewhere else. I camp at my base camp when I'm working so I get sleep. So that's that's one of the yeah, I found them out here. This is where I found those two felt, uh, people. It was around December. Everything was gone and green. And I come out here. This is where I found a lot of old camps. Come on, let's go this way. All right. Moomoo's going across the bridge. Dogs are going to jump the ditch. Or walk through the ditch. It's really wet and muddy. Makes me wonder why would somebody build their camp in a wet, muddy environment? Look, dog went through the ditch, Moo Moo goes across the bridge. <laughs> huh. I wonder if I could report this. This is all new. Where all these tires are coming from. Yeah, that pissed me off, man. This really pisses me off right here, all these damn tires. I'm going to show you another spot. Now, when you're building a camp, why would you build your camp in a swamp? Know your lo location. Come out here during sweat seasons, dry seasons. Don't come out here and build your camp in a swamp. Here's another, you know, off-board person here. He thought he's going to build his camp right here he had a nice camp yeah but he didn't realize the weight and the nails he used nails okay the nails only going about this deep in his wood so that's one tehassif he's waiting he didn't tie it down he just nailed it I meant nails only going about that far in this wood. And it's also choking a tree. He cut this. This was good. This is recently. Yeah. So the person didn't think how to build a camp. He built it in a swamp. He had a nice little high deck camp here. And it fell. It broke on him. So what he did, he built another one in the same swampy area right over here and it failed because it's in the swamp so you had that area for a while and his mind's not working right because he's on drugs oh yeah but uh i'm in a spot where it's called crack town you go by crack around the corner how I know this because the old folks I talked to did it. And there are all kinds of types of homeless people. The ones on drugs is the worst. And he built this one. He tried to build it up. And it failed because he didn't know how to build a freaking camp. He had a, he tried to make it go upstairs too with that. And he had, and it failed. Uh, 
I'm gonna show you. And this is what happens when you're on drugs. This, if, this is like a drug hole or house. You come out here and shoot needles. I found a few needles out here. I just left them alone. I don't even get near them things. And dogs just left walking right through it. I wish I could walk right through it. Don't have boots. Here's another camp not far from this one. And the tree fell. All right. And here's another site, camping site. This one much better, but still a bad off spot. A couple of reasons why it's a bad off spot. You got ditches on both sides. This is Mosquito Alley. I mean, the water might dry out and run off, but yet still. Is this a good spot? I don't know. Not for me. I won't camp here. What these drug addicts do, they just bring all kinds of weird shit that they don't even need to use. And pile it up in bags. Oh, I can use this. I don't know what goes in their mind. I'm not a drug addict. And, you know, that's a good spot because it's high ground. But the rest of the water will run right through your camp. Plan out your camps. If you're going to build a camp in the middle of the woods, plan your camps out. I wish I could find a higher, uh, like a, wish I, I wish I went to the lottery. I'll have somebody come out here and clean this up. And here's another. This is what they do. They pile up stuff. You know, I, I took and bagged all this stuff up in bags and put it on the side. Had all this shit straight and clean. Some crackhead wanted to go through every little fucking thing because I don't know if their mind's saying there's some good stuff in there. I can get it. Or, I don't know. I don't know what goes through a crackhead's mind or or, or when those uh, people with their mind is all messed up because they're on dr drugs. Drugs can do some weird shit to human beings. Their mind is not right. And they start doing some weird shit. All right, here's two more camps. <laughs> all right, bush. See, I took all the trash and I piled it up. I piled it up over here too. And then fuckers went through all the shit and just threw the trash everywhere. Another bad spot to put a camp. Look at this sinkhole. That's where they had their camp. Then somebody had the most intelligent mind built this camp over here. This camp was like the best camp I've seen out here so far. Uh, so far. There's more to come. So what I did over here, I took all the trash again and put it in bags and put it over here. And what they did, they ripped them open. Ah, oh, the pallets. You used to have pallets over here. They took the pallets. Looks like they went that way with them. Yep, they had like three or four pallets here. It's off the ground. It had like a little circle thing. And I think I know where they went. It went over there for that building. So. And man, the the... I actually talked to somebody that was on some good drugs, I guess. And boy, his, his mind was like blank. He's thinking everybody's after him. He was on that, uh, that, that, that needle shit. His mind was really blown. Last time I walked out here, it was like a damn trap. I, come on. <laughs> Dog goes, I'm not going over the bridge. He goes, through the ditch. Moo Moo walks across. Moo Moo smart fish. So now we're back on the railroad tracks. And this trail has not been used in a while. One or two things the crackhead or whoever, the homeless person that lived over here is probably in prison because he was stealing. I don't know. I don't care. And 
we got this home right below us. I'm not going in there. I already know what's there. But just want to check and see. If, see, there's one right there. Somebody lived down there, which would have been a better spot. But all the trash they created makes those rats come in and want to hang out with you. There's another camp over there. You see it right there is a very small one. It looks like somebody's making something out there now because I see some orange flagging that wasn't there before. I don't know if I jump in a ditch. Where that's the another camp that had, they had. There's no camps on that side because you got to walk across that ditch. They finally use the brains. So I'm not going across that ditch. That water stays there for like months when it's there. It's just no good drainage. Don't know why. It's just no good drainage out here. Then we're going to another, the most best camp I found out here is this one. This person thought it out. It's like this person was really homeless. And, and they had a, a good mindset. Then again, I took all the trash and put it in boxes and bags. Then some idiot comes out here and digs it all out. And there's the bin for it. And I had a board. I guess it's down there now. You guys down there. So we got to cross this damn thing. Boards down there. So it, it flooded really good here. Okay, now, but the flaws on this camp, they put it in a sinkhole. But this camp was a good camp, I promise you. It was the best camp, but they put it in a sinkhole. This would have been a better camp if they just put it on that little levee right there. It was well thought out. There, there's the pallet. This is well thought out. They had. They had firewood, they had a little kitchen table here, they had, they had nice, alright, this was the nicest out of all of them. Had a turlet. I don't think somebody's been out here because they got a lot of stuff been moved. And why would you camp back here knowing that it's a flood zone? It is a flood zone. See, show you how much drugs these people were. Those pallets are heavy. Those blue pallets and that plastic pallet, those pictures are heavy. They carry the maze out here. Oh, it comes in, always comes in trees. So that's, they had like little tables out here. They had everything. So this is the best camp, but made it the worst camp is the sinkhole there was this up look at it it's all underwater it starts past this little levee area now if they put their camp up there in that levee it would have been the best camp ever but they put it back here in the swamp good luck on your camp sir learn your territory before you build i'm talking to people who's on drugs here yeah, i'm going to do what you say, man. I, I, I know what I'm doing. Good camp. If you put your shit up here, it's see, it drops to a sinkhole. But this person was a better thinker than most of the people. All the all the camps I came up to. And this is where almost where I found those homeless people. And we get just getting kicked out of their house for unknown reasons, not paying the bill or using and abusing somebody. <laughs> right, I want to show you one more thing about this area. What's so good about it for homeless people to come out here to be living out here. There is one more spot that 
somebody try to build or make it's up here I'm not you gotta jump the ditch and it's this big pile of wood it's like a starter spot and this railroad track goes for miles this also connect to St. Tammany Parish Trace uh, I'm not gonna walk too far in this jungle I'm getting wet I'm a bushcrafter or survivalist uh, and there it is that's the other area it's a camp right over there it does the same thing goes into a sinkhole there's nothing over there but a pile of wood for burning people do amazing things when they're on drugs Jeez, this cricket. Okay. All right. If I can't find that water, it's a water pipe. I think it's way down there. I'm gonna go right here. If it's not right here, I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and turn around. But it's a water main. Looks like I'm getting close because there's the soup. It should be right here. I hope he's right here. <laughs> yep, here it is. I'm walking out the tall grass. All this is wet and getting me wet. Oh, looks like somebody took the pipes off. That sucks. All right, this was. Well, it looks like somebody turned it off. They came out here. And actually turn the water off but it had like a little device up here you can turn it on and you got water coming out and I think somebody finally just came out here and capped this baby off uh, so the parts are gone they had uh, you know a little rope going across here it is you know a little privacy uh, fence so they could take a shower here and it was real low you had to duck and wash yourself but they had this water where you can wash yourself here all right well that's the end of the story of how i found some bums out here and and how they started using and abuse me i told them i said use me don't abuse me and they started using me this they didn't want to give me something back for all the good work i've been doing for them and I told him I'm a, I was living out my truck and I got my own base camp and uh, that way they won't be I don't have to hear it oh, can you keep can we no you can't no <laughs> I have nothing I have that's what you have nothing <sighs> All right, then that is it. I was out here looking at these because I saw the railroad tracks. I'm like, I wonder where what these railroad tracks go and how far. And, and I, I walked it. It was a long, long, long time ago, around December. Never made a video out of it because if I found these homeless people, I stopped making videos around that time also, around December. Because I started hanging around with them and helping them. I tried my best to help them as much as they asked. They asked for my help because we never did this before. All right, let me show you. I keep telling them to keep the turlet away from their camp. Flies will land on the turd. They'll land on your food. You can get you sick. Then the coronavirus hit around March. Coronavirus. Coronaburger. You know, I try to teach them, but they, they, they just didn't want to listen. And then they get all pissed off. I'm like, wait a minute, didn't y'all ask me for my help, my guidance, how to do this shit? I've been doing this with this God for a long time. The do's and don'ts of camping or being homeless. Don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, do this, don't do that, don't do that, do this. You're so lazy, you couldn't walk another 100 feet to take a dump. That's what, that, that was the most pissed off thing I ever heard. Oh, I'm lazy, basically. They didn't want to walk 100 feet 
to take a shit. They want to shit right there in their camp where you got food and water. Where a fly can land on your goddamn turds and land on your food. At least they start putting a bucket lid on your turlet to keep the freaking flies from landing in, the mother, in it. Then they had, oh, they had so many buckets of shit and all kinds of stuff I had to throw away. Come on, let's go. I was so pissed off. It was so lazy. They couldn't even dump their shit in a, a hole. I'm going to show you that in the video next. This video is like 100 hours long, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. I'm going to show you the uh, where I brought them and what they did there. Alright, see you in a few minutes. Like I said, this video is way too long. And I'll uh, talk to you later.